Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff, or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. <sighs> I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. 
Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. I left the gift on my bed. Oh, I thought you said outside. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Jealous, my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my life. I'd trust her with your life, too. Just not with Groot's. Okay, mean. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. I still say me and my tracking device would have better odds of finding him. Not without sounding every alarm in the process. And you've been outvoted. Lame. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I am Groot. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. 
It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Orthos tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No, I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora supposed to find you once we've sold him? I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're gonna ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not gonna let you just wing it with group. Gamora knows what she's doing. She'll find a map or something. Because I'm the navigator, right? Then navigate yourself out of my way. I'm taking my tracking device, and I'll get him out myself. The Kaleran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's... Surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's confidence. Spare me your empty. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim you are free. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. Got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. 
I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not that enough. bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta 
hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. And Real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare and scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. What's this? I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. That's not what I said. Come on, you were thinking it. She was practically begging for a night with the big galoot. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a day with Drax. Katathians do not date. We perform feats of virility and are judged worthy. Or not. Bad how you ended up with your wife? That was the most proficient killer in the village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. It's due, Dad. Remember that time when Onsara? Heh. <laughs> remember no such time. Before your days, Muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Wolberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good or am I good? Those were the same options. Now the Ravagers. There's a bunch that knew at a party. Okay. Tracker says. Ah, come on, you skeggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw them take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does. Probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Maybe there's some stairs. There are several stairs. I mean stairs down to Groot. There's a perfectly good elevator. It's not perfectly good if we can't get it working. Then we better get it working. If we can't find a switch, maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Signorfian night air is refreshing. Smells like eggs. Burnt hair. Indeed. Give her the old lace rise, Quill. See if you can spot a power source or something. You sure that tracker is fixed? I told you, it ain't broke. I don't like our whole plan relying on some trinket. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Of course she can't just have a normal friggin' ground level chair. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course, but you did not ask. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, here? Done. Whoops! Must be setting our soothing sounds, Volume 2. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Switch this! Done. This one. Oh, here! Yep. Rocket, did that work? Uh, Peter? Close it, close it, close it! Close what? Hey! Hey! We've got company! Captain. 
Is killing permitted now, Peter Quill? Yes, now! Kill them now! Back your tracks! Rock yes, the fireworks! No more screw-ups! Magical mask malfunction, Peter Quill. I just got my wires crossed. Go. Can you follow a simple circuit path? You know who you're talking, right? Fine. This is all a big misunderstanding. That was not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. Okay, here. <sighs> and the here. Was got it. Uh, just a little slip, no big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. You better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not bad. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark! Shh. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You make sure as scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. The rodent is more irritable than usual. He didn't want us to sell Groot. Nor did I. The tree was an inferior choice. We got paid, didn't we? What happened to being subtle? Anyone else thinking Groot's tracker may have gone dark because they... No! Don't even think like that! It is more plausible that the tracker was discovered and has been destroyed. Rocket, wait for us! He did not wait. Thanks, Drax. Peter Quill, you certainly does not best that you simply cut their throats while they sleep. Very sporting of you, Drax, and yes, I'm sure! What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Huh. I'm not seeing any breeding pairs. Maybe she keeps them separate. Oh, what the heck is that? It's my spirit animal. Strong. Looks like a rhino slept with a jellyfish. Door's locked. How exactly are we supposed to get out of here? I'm working on a plan. What plan? So far, we don't go that way. I am familiar with some of these creatures. Not as rare as I would have expected from Lady Hellbender's collection. Never meet your heroes, Drax. <laughs> Turn him into kindling. Stand back. 
that will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but I think that was... Good to have you back, Groot. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? Okay, this door was definitely locked before. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them!
soldiers! That's little comfort, Drax! Someone get rid of the chicken! We need to wreck the spikes inside! Forget the jelly! Destroy that mine! Slice and dice! This is how it's done! Alright! We're making progress! The beast has learned from its mistake! Look! It's sucking up that joke! Now that was a ride. 
This is no time to celebrate. We have made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? <laughs> us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scott? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree. Tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot, you got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No. I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. In spite of me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone, I sunk aboard, and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were a little bad. God, I I didn't know the Raker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I can bring her back. I just have to... Just an array. Just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax, it was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right, we made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else. Make it fast, Quill. I still got that array to repair. Let's do this quick, then. I hope you ain't just browsing. One shiny a oof! 
Got a crick in my back because of that. There. Happy now? We done? Can we talk for a second? Are we okay? Oh, tip top, Captain. So that's a no. Why do you care? I'm just here to fix things, right? Who cares what I think? Rocket, please. Just because I don't always take your advice doesn't mean I don't listen to you. We're a team. Everybody's got an opinion. So you'd rather listen to Gamora? Gamora? Gamora knows her stuff, man. She's the navigator. She navigates the stars and, and planets and, uh, uh, comets. She navigates comets. Sometimes. And Groot is our, uh, special vegetation specialist. His opinion's valid, too. And Drax? What makes him so great? He's, uh, uh tactical. Tactics. The man is such a tactician. And then there's me, the grumpy Flarkhole who does ship repairs. Come on, you're a valued member of this team. We started this together. Now we need to make something profitable of it, something lasting. We could go to nowhere like you suggested, but if we don't pay that fine, Nova Corps will come for us. How do we make money then? Maybe paying our fine makes some sense. Exactly. So let's just get it over with and move on, right? We'll see. There. Happy now? We done? Uh, penny for your thoughts? What is a penny? Uh, it's money. Like units? The saying means I pay to know what you're thinking. We must use our currency to pay the Nova Corps fine or we risk... Drax. Just tell me what's up. I am realizing that I do not know as much as I thought I did. Our visit to Seknarf-9 was not what I expected. Because Lady Hellbender isn't a giant? She is definitely not. That is only part of it, Peter Quill. On our way to her fortress, I realize that many of my assumptions about this team have been incorrect as well. Really? The Assassin and the Rodent. Without them and the tree fighting nobly beside us, we would not be alive right now. I told you, they're not bad people just because they have a bad past. Life is... complicated, Drax. Things are never simple. On Katath, it was. I had a family that I cherished, and a certainty about life that I no longer possess. I'm sure you'll find it again. Just give it some time. You are right to be worried about the broken communications array, Rodent. Our inbox has been dry for cycles, Drax. Perhaps because some of us shirk our duty to distribute cards of business. I am Groot. Yeah, Groot does enough distributing for all of us. I am Groot. Whoa, nice! You made a cute little pen. I am Groot. Yeah, it better stay out of my fur. You didn't mean to chew up the comms, did you? I wonder what the future has in store for us. More fighting! Perhaps next time we should get a contract with no fighting involved. Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. It doesn't matter. The Halos Hope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So, why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes, I am. Hate to disappoint, but I saw everything. Didn't really peg you as a doll collector. So what if I collect them? A lot of people have hobbies. Groot collects plants. Rocket's obsessed with bombs. Yeah, yeah, and Drax has a lot of really scary looking knives. See? Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess. You know, as a kid, I collected stuff too. 
Baseball cards, action figures. You think collections are childish? No, no, no. Uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Peter. I don't care what you think. I'd just rather keep my hobbies to myself. Time's okay, Corel. Get ready to be impressed. Corel is probably monitoring this ship, waiting to see if we make the right choice. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Halas Hope. My ship's fine. Which part? Ask Quill. He's the one who keeps crashing. All right. Let's pay that fine. So, what should we do with the leftover money after we pay off the cops? I say we get a landing assist program. There won't be much left, but we should use it to get intel on our next contract. We should use it to acquire food. Yeah, Drax wins. Yes. <clears throat> Anything but Yara Root. What are the odds they arrest us as soon as we step outside? Depends. How many outstanding warrants do you have? A couple. My record is clean. <laughs> we should jettison that thing. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paint, we get Novacor to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. Not like they had much choice after the war. Too many seats, not enough bucks. Seems more efficient this way, and M ship, designation Milano. Move to holding space R734 PL. Present validated ticket to kiosk prior to departure. Relax, Rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. This isn't exactly my first Nova Corps find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look, the door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what, now I'm supposed to hack Nova Corps security? I mean, if you don't think you can... Keep shot, Quill. We are discussing breaking into a Nova Corps facility. It ain't breaking in if no one's here. when one would break in. There! One open air duct. All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay or fine plan. But I gotta say, messing with some Nova Corps that game is absolutely right. Hey! Watch the ricochet! Now we have added vandalism to our list of offenses. Looks intact to me. 
That's a door. The wrong door. Still, progress. Uh, oops. Anyone want a soda? Nah, I no more. Hey, that sort of worked. Presto! It was conspicuously silent. Good point. Hey, no! We want to pay our fine and get your contracting tracker off my ship. Hello? Anybody? Come take our oh. money, you gold dome pencil puncher! Oh, poor little guy. It is a thing. The sympathies are redundant. Uh, hey there. You are Nova. What gave it away? Whoever y'all are, come here a minute. Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in a cage. Nova Corps begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Nova Corps prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. Do you know about whatever's going on here? Not much. There was a commotion. People were talking about some mother, and then they just left. Corell? Did you see a Centurion or a little Cree girl? That's all I know. Come on, I helped you. Time to help me. Look for a door release or something. Hey, hang on, where are you going? So we're just gonna leave that guy to rot? The last thing we need is to get caught freeing some criminal. We're already in enough hot water with Nova. Peter Quill implying he bathed with Nova Corps Centurion. Now this place brings back memories. You once served with the Nova Corps, Peter Quill. What? No! But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> Whoa, that guy was serious business. Well, now he's seriously someone else's business. Assuming that's the last we see of him. One, two, three, four. Nope. <sighs> Screw it. I ain't making any progress here. I'm getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. Uh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. Please don't fall. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay. Spooky! This one gets its own room. Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendari. More nothing. There's gotta be an explanation. You heard that guy. They just left. And so should we. He also said something about Corel. He said mother. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? I am cool. And then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay. We try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. We ain't going back that way. I thought the Nova Corps had more ships. I heard they got, uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with, uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship? I sense there's a butt. 
But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a far? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Yeah. Let's keep looking. Or we could focus on getting off this Fracactus space station. The door's flark, remember? There's ways to unflark things, Gamora. Believe me. Bums don't count. What about that? Where do you think that goes? Down. Enough for me. Hey, what happened to one more room? You said the door's busted. I'm sure it's just a little further. This is a mutiny. It was an execution. I ain't never seen cops kill each other. We've got to play this smart until we know what's going on. And which side survived? All right! Everyone stay below and follow me! There's something off about them! Look! They're flarking glowing! Seems a safe go! Let have it! Hold them down, Grip! Gamora! Irrelevant. Bear, kill now! Ah, that is much more informative. Those who resist must be purged. Pop it out, big guy! <laughs> Sick of tracks! Meet your maker! Just what we need! A bunch of Nova Corps gone nuts! Here comes the I told you so! Anyone crack that freaking shield? I think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Quill's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? 
That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket! The only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right! It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop loving human! I am Groot! Come on! Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell! I prefer the rodent's plan. It's tried. All must see. All will You don't will think this believe. sort of thing is happening at Nova stations everywhere? That's what they get for being jacked into an inter-system network. Or maybe what happens when one gets disconnected from it. Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano and... The intruders reported in the repair bay. And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said, all cycle. Sweep Run, Sector team, 7. Intruders in sea junction! The Hawks! Allow us to pray on a plane! Drop a brush of To the bone! took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look! Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He was a sorcerer. Behold the magic flowing to the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. Creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine. 
No problem. We should probably tell someone. Eh, yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. <laughs> nice to see you listening. So, you think? Yeah, I'll deal with the door. There! Go! Purge the faithful Clark and stop them! Can nothing go easy? <laughs> Wasn't second guessing, I'm just sure. These doors have been barricaded. It means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Those Nova barely got a shot off before they were gunned down by them glowy ones. Gamora's right. At least I hope she is. They can't all be dead. They ain't. Most of them switch sides. I mean, some of them must have escaped. You were referring to your former lover, and the child. I've gotta believe Corral was on that ship. Yeah, well, believing don't make it so. What would make Nova turn on Nova? Perhaps they were not acting of their own free will. All right, Hanger, here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4 PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. <laughs> no, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4 PL. Done. All right. Bay is clear. Extending catwalks. And... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. Let us do. None with can these escape her life. Focus on the clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off you. One down. You struggle in vain! Are you making progress? 
Psycho soldier! There's another one! All right, I'm hooked into the Milano system! Where's my tunes? I got your scudding terror music! We've got more incoming! How's it going Two. in there, Rocket? You don't just worry think about the plans! Much! They will be sorely disappointed! Way to knock some sense into them! Guys, huddle up! Why'd you call us Sin Peter? I, for one, am doing great out there. As am I, Assassin. So perhaps he wants you out of my way. Are you good? Or maybe he wants you to sit back and watch so you can learn from a pro. have each other's backs out there. No one's winning this on their own. Perfect. Precisely. If we stay united and centered, there will be no turning back. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quinn. Yeah! Die with honor! This glow is oddly beautiful. Prepare yourself, Steve! Let's get these engines cooking! Plot a course while you're at it, if you can! Carve of a new one! Get the point! I have to admit, the music makes it better! See? I knew it'd grow on you! Get ready! I will enjoy this! I would wager we have avenged the fallen Nova Corps. I just hope Corral and the kid got away on that ship. You don't stand a chance. Engines are hot. Sea formers warming. We should alert the authorities to these events. They are the authorities. Welcome, Dad. We should set course for Contraxia. Lay bare our issues over a cold catastrophe of food. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our cons are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock in a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. 
He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if Shi'ar count. Saw a few of them last time. 